For those of you who don't know, my name is Bailey Hoffman and I would like to become a speech language pathologist because I've always been interested in the constant evolution of communication, language, and treatment. Ever since I was 16 years old, I've been a waitress, so I've seen every walks of life. I've seen every disability, every age group, every ethnicity, and I've just always been interested in different populations. I would also like to become a speech language pathologist because of my cousin Megan. Megan was hypoxia at birth, and currently she's 33 years old now, but has the cognitive and emotional performance of about a five-year-old. Growing up, she went through physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy, and that was a big window into the profession for me and made me want to pursue it even more. I also grew up with an aunt that was profoundly deaf, and she communicated using American Sign Language. In the first grade, I learned the alphabet American Sign Language, so I would go home and we would fingerspell and practice the alphabet, and that was a big moment for me because most people in their lifetime don't get to experience the deaf culture, and I got to experience it at such an early age that was a very big blessing for me. I would like to attend Edinburgh University for multiple reasons. Affordability is probably the biggest one because I pay for schooling all by myself and most colleges don't give every student a GA position so that was a big factor in me choosing Edinburgh. In addition, Western Pennsylvania School for the Deaf was a big factor. I volunteered there all four years of my undergraduate career and I loved it there and that is potentially a route I want to go in my career so that would be a big advantage for me. The third reason is because we are, are currently getting a new professor that specializes in pediatric swallowing and most grad programs don't get that at such an early age. You usually get that like in your CF year or further on. So that's a big advantage and I would really be interested in pursuing that part of the career. And lastly is just the connections I've made. I've went to Edinburgh for the past four years for my undergrad and I've already made amazing connections with the students and with the professors and I feel like I would thrive best here in my master's degree because I've always respected the professors, I've always admired the work they do and I just feel like they would help me best in pursuing my career as a future speech language pathologist.